20% drop as banks raise rates. Hong Kong officials who have struggled for three years to slow the growth in home prices are about to get what they hoped for as the city's biggest banks raise mortgage rates. Prices could fall as much as 20% over the next two years according to Deutsche Bank after lenders including HSBC Holdings and Standard Chartered raised their home loan rates by 25 basis points in response to tighter risk rules. Hong Kong dollars pegged to the US currency has kept interest rates in the city at near record lows, underpinning a more than 110% gain in home prices since the start of 2009 to the most expensive among major global cities. Bugal Lau, chief analyst at Midland Holdings, commented, You have this pile of measures plus higher interest rates. This will be a big challenge for the market. Midland Holdings predict a third of real estate agent branches in Hong Kong will close. On February 22nd, Chief Executive Lung Chung Ying imposed his toughest yet price curbing measures by doubling the stamp duty on all property transactions higher than $257,000. London-based HSBC was the first among Hong Kong's lenders to lift rates from March 14th. Sebastian Paradis, chief executive officer at DBS Group Holdings, said banks were mispricing their retail mortgage loans. Now, with the new measures from Hong Kong Monetary Authority, they will be forced to correct it. The rate increases may finally put a dent in prices, which have climbed 16% since Lung was sworn in. Tony Sang and Jason Ching, analysts at Deutsche Bank, said with the new government measures, the potential further rise in mortgage rates and the expected increase in new supply in the medium term, we expect property price to show larger corrections. According to Lung, prices of both residential and commercial real estate have come down in the past two weeks and the property market is stabilising. Total home transactions may fall below 3,000 in March and prices may drop as much as 10% this year. That's all for now, but stay tuned to Dukescopy TV for the latest financial news and updates. Have a good weekend and goodbye for now.